Hello, in this video we will look what, what to do if we want to make a first conversion from an Autodesk Inventor assembly into a Microsoft Render scene file. When we are into an uh, Autodesk Inventor assembly file and we want to convert it, we go to our Environments tab, we open the Maxwell Render environment and basically the only thing we have to do is to click on the Export to Maxwell scene so it will then uh, take all the parts from this assembly file and convert it into the geometry needed by Maxwell Studio. So for this example I click now on the icon and the conversion process goes in two steps. First of all, the within uh, Autodesk Inventor all the parts will be translated and when that's done uh, you will get a message box exports done. What has happened is that all the objects have been exported and also a script file was made so that um, Maxwell Python can convert all the data into a Maxwell scene file. That's the process that's going on. So once the objects have been translated you will get a new message uh, from Windows um, to ask you do you really want to convert this script into a Maxwell scene file. For this example I click yes and then it will take a short time and our file is converted. So if we go to the Maxwell Studio we can directly look at it Okay, it's coming up. Okay, there it is. Um, so from here we can open our Maxwell scene file. So we click File Open. Um, when you start your Maxwell Studio from the add-in in uh, Inventor, and you open, try to open a file, then you will see that you will automatically also go into. Uh, your project fo uh, folder from Inventor. Uh, the converted file is stored in a Maxwell directory uh, MXS from Maxwell scene and then it also another folder with uh, the name of your assembly and there you will find the scene. If we open it so We'll give it a closer look and there it is. You see that's a converted file. I'm going to create a new camera. Make active. Okay. And then okay. And then it's already ready ready to be rendered. You see there it's up. So the conversion from uh, Autodesk Inventor into Maxwell Render is not much more than this. Now let's go a little bit deeper in detail uh, what kind of files have been made. When we clicked on the export to Maxwell scene button um, the add-in automatically created a folder Maxwell into your project folder in Inventor. And that's the starting point for all the Maxwell, all the converted Maxwell render scene files uh, from this project. In this folder there's another um, layer of uh, subfolders. Uh, the most important one to use is the MXS files. That's where your final um, Maxwell scene files will end up. You also have an MXM file, a uh, folder. Um, this is where materials are being stored. If we go into it, in this case only a default uh, uh, material is, has been added. It's automatically made by the add-in, um, but it can be extended with uh, a lot more materials. But we'll come to that in the next video. 
and you also have a scene script uh, folder. This is where the actual objects are being stored that has to be uh, that were translated. So every part in Inventor is translated into an object file, and then also a script file is uh, created automatically that uh, PyMaxwell, as you see, uh, is able to run. PyMaxwell is uh, one of the packages uh, that's delivered with Maxwell Render. And you can also look in it in detail if you like to. So, so it's uh, a lot of code that's automatically been written. You can delete these files uh, without any problem. Um, if you delete it, next time you do a conversion, the whole directory structure is uh, rebuilt automatically. Remember that if you delete it, that you lose your file, of course. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.